is up fellow treadheads and today we're going to be taking a look at another tank review for the Armored Warfare. Today we're going to be taking a look at the premium tank, the T-92. Now yes, this tank will be coming to the Americans in War Thunder, but that's not what this review is about. This review is about the T-92 here in Armored Warfare. The T-92 first started production... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you want a history lesson, go watch one of Jingle's videos or just Google this shit yourself. I'm just going to literally lay bare exactly how I feel about this tank. Um, well, for starters, this tank's heat ammo only having 129mm of penetration and only doing 198 alpha damage is pretty fucking piss weak, especially for having a 5 second reload time. Its APCR ammo only has 146mm of penetration and actually does less alpha damage than the heat rounds. And so, yeah, my advice when you're taking this tank out is to literally go bloop, bloop, only take heat ammo. APC, it's just ridiculous. Trust me, just trust me on this, just trust me on this. Of course, we've got our rigor consumables, which is a repair kit, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, and a low tier field maintenance kit, only for PVE. Now, as for retrofits, I've decided to go with the, the uh, chrome line barrel of uh, pretty much a lot of others and I went with the advanced transmission over the rest. Now you could go with the advanced supercharger once you get it unlocked of course from the AMX 10P uh, or you could go for the um, air induction pre-cleaner of course they do help with acceleration and hold traverse speed. This is where this tank fails in my opinion. This tank takes two blocks to turn. It's like these tracks just don't do shit. You can clearly see that this is an American bastardized attempt at trying to copy an ELC AMX and they royally fucking failed. Um, of course the machine guns are just for show. They don't do jack shit. This is not an autoloader. Again, this is one of the preconceptions that a lot of people seem to have that this is an autoloader. This is not an autoloader. Okay? So we're going to immediately jump into a PvP, uh, a PVE mission real quick. And you'll see exactly the areas where this tank fails. Now, of course, my tank commander is Sabrina Washington. She is maxed out, of course, as you can clearly see. She has all of her skills. So there you go. And, of course, we are now teamed up with two Object 155s, a BMP-1 and an XM-800T. The XM800T is probably going to be the tank that fucks us this game. I'm calling it right now. Reason being is most XM800T drivers don't seem to understand how to use that tank. Uh, of course, there will be a review of that tank coming here soon. So, what's our objectives? Uh, daily reward. Blah. So, of course, this is the standard umbrella mission, which is where we're going to go down and around. Uh, get to about here and then probably try and sneak up and around and take care of that bastard artillery that hangs out here and maybe up, up here. Normally if I'm in a main battle tank I'll go that way and deal with the uh, French tank destroyers. Load key. All right Black Company, we've lured the NPAA's air force out. But the area is still heavily reinforced. You'll need to take over their base and wait for reinforcements. Now, Good luck. Gonna be they don't take the Soviet, couple of Soviet tanks that spawn down here. A T-54 and I believe an object. Black Company, new objective, quickly. Yeah. Enemy supply trucks are leaving the area. Our jets will provide flares to mark As their location. See, Move to intercept and use whatever force necessary. The tank lacks alpha damage. So it's enemy it's reload rate. Oh, it's a pattern this time. Loader, and it didn't do nothing. Loader, good hit. Up. Load, key. Of course, there's the XM800. What did I tell you? What Up. did I tell you? That the XM800 is going to be a total fucking tool. See, I told you, I called it. I fucking called it. And of course, we've got an Object 155 thinking he's Rambo. See, told you, he's already fucking down. Now, 
Do you see what I'm saying about how this tank doesn't respond? Well done, Black Company. As you saw, it, I, it just this tank. See, it just it's too sluggish. It's acting like it's always in quicksand for some bloody reason. I don't know. Maybe this tank will get a little bit of patch note buff love. Who knows? Been spotted. Well done, Black Company. No tentacles. Because apparently a T-54 has magical front armor. Oh, good, hit. good hit that time. Hit his oil tank. Of course, the more modules you hit, the more uh, uh, extra damage you do to the tanks. Oh, good hit. But see, again, 184. Up. Oh. Identify. Oh, direct 200, hit. 200 oh, alpha damage per shot. Just sig, and apparently that shell went into the void. Direct hit. Two hundred alpha just doesn't. We yeah, took the head. Oh, that's a French tank destroyer. So and now they're both going to pick on me. See. So the target eliminated. Whoever coded the uh, guy. So press number nine. Look, I regained some health and all my ammo. Got two kills now. We've already lost. Oh, look, we lost the XM800. Holy shit, Cobra. You are fucking into. No, you just. You can always tell at the beginning of the game what tanks are going to be good and what tanks are going to be retards. And most XM800 tank drivers that I know are just playing fucking stupid, paste eating twats. That's all I need to say. Yeah, this review, I'm going to sound a little salty. But you would too if Well done Black Company. No win against the NPAA is a win for so humanity. So now I'm gonna try and sneak No, I'm gonna I'm not gonna get any shots on. So I'm gonna try and swim by and uh, take a poke at that Abbott, which is a British artillery piece. Yes, I do own an Abbott. Yes, there will be a review of the Abbott coming here soon. So don't worry guys. Fear not, fear not. Now, I can't go up that way, so I've got to hit this lump here. Again, as you can see, this tank just doesn't respond. It it just doesn't feel right. Even even if you did have a, a, a level two crew, it just for some reason. See, see, um, it, it's just look how wide it has to go to take these turns. It's. It's ridiculous. It is. It's. Uh, Identify target. Hostile. Here tank. we go. The no pen. Oh, oh, yeah. He nailed it. This is where I die. Direct hit. Loader P. Up. Oh. We took a hit. Told ya. It's all, folks. Let's see if we can't. The target there down. We go. This tank is a, a snipe tank. This tank is. It reminds me very heavily uh, uh, of. Boat, heat, target hit. There's an enemy T92. Loader, heat. That shell just went into the nether void. Loader, See? Apparently I hit his his, his gun. Loader, that shell just fell way short. Loader, Good hit. 155 is going to ninja it. Loader, heat. Loader, direct hit. And so that's the T92. Good in work. PVE. Your reinforcements are incoming. That's the first step in driving out the MPAA extremists. If you really think that 
you're it, it's it's gonna be a fun little zippy tank you're wrong it's not the tank severely underperforms for its tier yes it's tier two you're thinking well well what tanks does it have to put up with to contend at tier two well let's say you've got the walker bulldog 76 mil gun same reload but does more alpha no 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 it doesn't cobra really no no it doesn't yeah it does here let let's only look at ranked two okay walker bulldog penetration 154 it's got it beat damage per minute 2151 okay the damage per minute is a work of fiction the penetration way underperforms it's got less hit points it its camo factor is ridiculous at 0 0.032 compared to the walker bulldogs 0 0.029 the walker bulldog has a better camo rating than this thing yet it's supposed to be a lower profile yet it doesn't help lower profiles just means the tanks wider and with a wider tank it it's easier to offset your your tank's chassis and put it at awkward angles so you're going to miss shots. Why? This tank cannot aim fucking down to save its life. And it can barely aim up either, for that matter. For the price of gold that you pay for this tank, honestly, guys, don't. Skip this tank. It is useless. It is absolutely fucking useless. I only use it to make the small trickle amount of money that you see, period. Comparing to a lot of auto loaders that you're going to come across, for example, let's take a look at what Wolf has to offer at tier twos. Okay, at tier twos, which is where I got this tank, you got the LAV 150. It's going to out alpha you. Period. No matter, even if it's using its uh, 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 Hesh ammo, it's going to out alpha you. Pattern 48 is going to out alpha you. It's going to. Plus the fact that the pattern actually has more basic hull points it's going to out alpha you it's going to out tank you okay you're also going to come across xm 800s again look 4k damage it's going to out alpha you period bmp ones are going to out alpha you so let's not look at the dragons then shall we and again that's where the just with the stock ammo okay so the xm800 is going to beat you the bmp is going to beat you the lav150 is going to beat you which means god forbid if you see leopards and m60s because they're going to just beat the living piss out of you the t92 should be a tier one tank with its damage profile look i mean for god's sake the m113 out alphas you what the fuck are they thinking Obsidian, what are you thinking? The T92 is a fucking joke of a goddamn tank. Okay, it really is, guys. It really is. Now, let's let, let's take a look at what Shishkin has to offer, shall we? BMP. Guess what? It's going to out alpha you. T54 out alphas you. Walker Bulldog, we've already established. It's Better tank overall, better camo, better turning, better speed, better braking, better handling, better alpha. Air, uh, the AMX 10P. Oh look, just beat the piss out of you in a 2 to 1. Over 5,000 damage. Guess what? You just got beat with an ugly stick, Mr. T92. Scorpion. Barely. Barely. Keeps up. But guess what? Scorpions have a reload of six seconds. They're a support fire tank. Okay, let's ta let, let's take a look at the T62. I've already done the T62. I've got the T62 complete, and guess what? Oh look, better overall pen, better overall everything. Its camo factor, for fuck's sake, is better. How the fuck can that be? I don't know. But if you look, it's going to out alpha you. Don't even get me started on anything else like the T64 or the Zao. The Zao's going to out-alpha you. Hell, you're not even going to see the Zao. 
The Zao's going to pump shots into you every four seconds while you're still sitting there with your thumb up your ass doing every, every shot at six and a half seconds. And that's even with my upgrade. That's even with the Chrome Barrel, which does an additional 3.3% damage. That's how piss poor the fucking T92 tank is. Now, 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 hold your fucking horses there, Cobra. Okay. Well, in my game, I got 5,000. That Well, good for fucking you. And I really do mean that. Good for fucking you. But this is my bare honest review. From one tank driver to a gamer to you. Let me translate this tank. It's shit. Don't buy it. Do not fucking buy it. This is the sort of shit you put in a stocking of a sibling that you don't fucking like. This is the sort of thing you would put, it, 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 wrap it up as a Christmas present and give it to one of your snot-nosed little bastard nephews who you have no fucking intention of ever seeing or wanting to do anything else with. You just show up and it happens to be his birthday. Ah, oh, fuck me. You pull this out your ass and you hand it to him. And he thinks, oh, yay! Uncle Danny gave me something! Until he gets in it and he's like, yeah, he gave me a turd. Literally, this tank shouldn't be olive drab. This tank should be shit brown. I fucking mean it. This tank should be shit fucking brown. And if you think this tank is bad here in Armored Warfare, can you imagine how bad this tank's going to be in fucking in, in, in War Thunder? With its battle rating, where Walker Bulldogs are going to piss all over it. There's a reason why the Walker Bulldog went into mass production and the T-92 did not. Here, light tank has good mobility and better handling on off-road terrain. <laughs> no, it don't. No penalty for aiming while driving forward or backwards at low speeds. Bollocks, as you saw. Uh, special ability has the ability to increase engine output temporarily, increasing speed and acceleration. Doesn't fucking help you if you can't turn! The T-92 was a prototype tank with highly advanced features, such as a unique semi-automatic loading system, and a sleek low profile design. No, there is no semi auto loading system. Okay, semi auto loading system. Well, let's see. Okay, that means the T54 is a semi auto loading system. The Patton is a fucking semi auto loading system. The Walker Bulldog, anything that fires a shell one after each other, guess what? It's a semi auto loading feature, you fucking retards. Plain and simple. Fuck me, Obsidian. Wake the fuck up. Contact some fucking museums that actually know what the fuck they're doing. Because whoever the fuck you're talking to is pulling shit out of his ass and showing it to you. And it just resembled the T-92. Okay? This thing is a fucking turd. Every time I see a T-92 on the enemy team, I think, ha ha, free kill. And lo and fucking behold, it turns out to be a free fucking kill. Because if it looks like an a a AMX, smells like an AMC AMC AMX, handles like an AMX, guess what the fuck it is? It's an AMX. And that's all what this is. This is a bastardized American clone of an ELC AMX without the autoloader. This tank would have been different if it had the auto loader, but it doesn't. This tank is a monumental fucking failure. End of. Bar none. It only gets two upgrade slots. Yes, granted, that's better than what the Walker Bulldog gets at one. That's better than what the Patton gets at one. That's better than what the fucking T-54 gets at one. But guess what? Make both the slots universal. Don't make one of it universal and the other one fucking uh, 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 mobility. Because there's nothing in the mobility tree that's going to help this fucking tank. Nothing. Even the crew, okay? Aim speed improved by 10%. Ready? Whole traverse speed improved. That was the whole traverse improved by 10% by the fucking driver. And that was the reload time increased, uh, 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 improved by 5%, still at six, uh, five and a half, almost six seconds. And my tank commander, as you can see, guess what? She's fucking maxed out. See, and even her aim speed increased it by 10%. 
it, it, it's not the crew, it's not the module, it's just the fucking tank. The tank fucking sucks. I hate to say it, guys. I'm not even going to take this thing into PvP. It's not worth it. It's really not. This review is going to be short, sweet, and simple, which is the tank fucking sucks. Okay? Don't fucking get it. Save your goddamn gold. Don't fucking get it. Put the gold towards converting your fucking free EXP. Here, here you go, here you go. Ta da! Yep, yeah, just, just do that. It, it, trust me. Just do that. It would be easier. You'd be putting the gold to better use. You would be putting the gold to better use. Okay? You really would. The T92 set tank just fucking sucks. Don't get it, guys. Do not get it. If you see it on the enemy battlefield, don't even shoot it. Just ram the son of a bitch. It's not even worth putting using a shell on. It was a prototype that was a monumental fucking epic fail. And it shows. Because that's exactly what it translates to here in the game. Oh, and FYI, they say that the engine is in the front, but yet when you shoot it in the rear, you get engine module damage. You shoot it in the front, you get nothing. Golf clap for you there, Obsidian. Golf clap. The damage model on this tank's fucked. The tank itself is fucked. Just skip it. Seriously, guys. I went through this pain, so you don't have to. This is the end of this review. My name is Danny, Deceptive Cobras Monahan, and I'll see you guys in the next one, my friends.